invite you to enjoy Life, Life with Luigi, a comedy created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. When Luigi Basco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, tonight I'm a feel very good. Because after school, my night to school classes are coming to my store for a little bite to eat. It's all the world custom I'm like to see in America. Remember the snacks you used to make for the mailman, the baker, Ferruccio the bricklayer, Uncle Pietro, and his goat? <laughs> Mamma mia, how that goat could eat? I'm going to never forget the time when the postman is drinking too much wine and he's a fall asleep and the goat is eating his mustache. <laughs> I remember how mad the postman is he get. For a whole year, he's a refusal to deliver mail to the goat. <laughs> anyway, to get ready for this little bite, I'm a maker for my friends tonight. I was a winter to the supermarket. You know what this is, Mamma Mia? Well, you take the Colosseum in Rome. Fill it up with the groceries and put in a ten of cash registers and that's to the supermarket. <laughs> and everything is looking so wonderful there. I'm a went in to buy a lemon. Somebody's a give me a little baby carriage. I'm a push it around at three hours. Is it costing me twenty dollars? <laughs> I'm a come out with a half of the store. But the worst of all, I'm a forgot the lemon. <laughs> Anyway, I write to you more about this and get together later. Right so now, I'm going to go to my night to school class. No, I'll see you later at the show. Remember, I'll see you there. All right, I'll class, be class, oh, quiet, oh, please. Oh, oh, oh. That's better. Yeah. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Horowitz? Here. Yeah. Mr. Olson? Hey, yeah. Mr. Schultz? Gesundheit. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, say present, not Gesundheit. I did not sneeze. All right, so I owe you a present and you owe me a sneeze. Thank you, fellow Oh, What a dreary place this class would be without me. <laughs> all right, Mr. Schultz, that's enough. Now, let's get on with our spelling lesson. Now, all of us have mastered such simple words as cat, rat, and bat. And we've gone even further, and tonight I'd like to try you on something more difficult. So, who will volunteer to spell the word foreign? Well, any volunteer? Oh, for the good old days of cat, rat, and bat. <laughs> please, Mr. Schultz, please. Now, will somebody spell the word foreign? Uh, how about you, Mr. Horowitz? All right. Foreign. F-O-R-N. Horowitz, uh, you're missing something in the middle. Thank you, Miss Spaulding. I'm glad you noticed I'm losing weight. <laughs> hey, Miss Spaulding, uh, please, I'm, I'm not sure, but maybe I try. Farron, F-O-R-I-E-G-N. Well, that's a good try, Mr. Basco. You just made one small error that's very common in words of this type. Uh, Miss Spaulding. Well, yes, Mr. Olson? I think it's about time I stepped in and cleared up the whole problem. Oh, what a show-off. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Olsen. Yeah. Luigi fell into a trap because he followed the rule A before E except after C. However, the word foreign happens to be an exception to this rule and is spelled F-O-R-E-A-E-N. <laughs> That's very good, Mr. Olsen. There he goes, destroying the whole beautiful atmosphere of ignorance we just built up. <laughs> Schultz, you've been so busy thinking up wisecracks. Now, suppose you stand up and give us an example of that spelling rule, I before E except after C. 
Well, uh... Well, go ahead. No excuses. All right, all right. I, I go to the window and I see E. <laughs> no. I go to the window and I see I. No. E C E. No, no, you don't see anything. Somebody pulled down the window shade. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, I will not tolerate your attitude any further. I suggest you go home and study your lesson. No, Miss Marty, please don't. Do I that. think I can take a joke as well as anybody, but this is too much. You may go. Yeah, but I wouldn't say anything. I'm just going to listen. Quiet. No, pleasure, pleasure, Miss Pauling. No. Please, please, I don't send a shoot to home. After class today, you was all going to come to my store for a little bite. That's right, Miss Pauling. It would be nice if we could all come together. You and your many Miss Pauling, let Schultz stay. Please, we're going to have a, such a nice time. I'm going to get a wonderful things to eat. <laughs> You're going to like the food. You know. Well, all right. Mr. Schultz, you can stay. Ach, saved by the salami. I don't deserve such friends. Spelled F R E N D S. How do you spell friends? I don't deserve such classmates. <laughs> Miss Miss Spalding. Oh yes, Mr. Basco. Please, do you mind if, if I'm leaving now? You see, my minestrone is on the stove, and I'm gonna want to add some water. It should come out just the right. Also, I'm gonna want to put up the coffee, make the dough for the pizza, and a boil of chicken. <laughs> oh, of course, Mr. Basco. You may leave now, and we'll all see you later. Thank you, Miss Spalding. Goodbye, Schultz. Goodbye. Also, no, goodbye. Goodbye, 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 Luigi. Ah, that Luigi is a prince. Hmm. I can just smell that minestrone soup now. Oh, that's right, Horowitz, and I can just taste that pizza right now. That's the longest nose and tongue I ever saw. His store is a mile away. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, I've heard enough. As far as no, I'm no, concerned... Barney, I didn't mean please. Don't, 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 don't. I hope it won't hurt your restaurant business, Mr. Pasquale, but your water will be shut off for only the next three hours from nine until midnight. That's all right, Mr. City Man. If it's an emergency, you've got to fix it. A sewer, you've got to fix it. <laughs> so if there's no water and i got to wash in my face, I'm going to wash you with a wine. <laughs> and I guarantee you my nose is going to be much happier. Well, you're not the only one affected. The water's being turned off for four blocks around. Don't worry. Fella next door is Luigi Basco. He's my countryman. He's in night school now. Oh. I tell him about the water being turned off when he's come back. Oh, thank you. Besides, he's not going to be in the store because he's taking my daughter Rosa to the movies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Only he don't know it yet. <laughs> uh, thanks again. Well, I've got to get moving and notify the rest of the neighborhood. Fine. I'll show you to the door. Fine. Good night. Good night. Mmm, it's a nice night. Mmm, fresh air. It's good for the lungs. Oh, what a sky. Look at those stars. Each one is a shine like a diamond tip on the table. Starlight, star bride. First star I'm going to see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might. I wish you Rosa was a Luigi's a bride. <laughs> Baby, put on your coat. It's a cold out of shine. Hello, Pasquale. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hey, little banana nose. I'm coming you home so early from school. The teachers will give you time off for good behavior? <laughs> no, Pascal. Tonight I was asked... Oh, what's the difference? It's a workout of just a fine. Man is to put a post in the window. He's to give me two free passes for the movies tonight. He's a play to my friend Neumann with a Marie Wilson. Oh, <laughs> Well, Pascal, thank you very much, but I'm not going to go. Besides, even if I could go, why would I need two tickets? Because when you go in that darker movie and you go walking down the aisle... Is it going to be a Satan or somebody by your side? You know who's it going to be? <laughs> the usher. <laughs> no, my daughter Rosa. No, Pasquale, I'm not taking your Rosa to the movies. Friends from my night school class, they're going to come over to my store tonight, and I'm going to give them a bite. Luigi, is that a nice? You invite your friends over and you bite them? <laughs> That's against the pure food law. <laughs> well, Pasquale, please excuse me. I'm going to go into my store and get the food already. Hey, listen, you've got no right of turning me down so fast. Do you hear me? I'm going to add water to the minestrone. 
Por apa chama coffee? Water for the minestrone and for coffee. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Luigi, I think I'm going to go along and help you out. Oh, thank you, Pasquale. I'm glad to hear you talk like that. Oh, look at the minestrone. Is a cook away down? Excuse me, Pasquale. I got to add the water fast. Hey, that's so funny. Hmm. Nothing from the heart, either. What's the matter, Luigi? Pasquale, I'm going to turn on the faucets, but nothing has come out. Not even the water? No. No water. That's funny. Chicago is a no dry state. <laughs> Pasquale, what I should do? I'm going to cook my chicken, but with no water, what am I going to cook it in? Try Pepsi Cola. <laughs> no, no, that's no good. It's going to make it a chicken, a boop. <laughs> Now, please, please, Pasquale, don't joke. It's a serious. That's the first time since I'm in America I should have no water. Why? Well, uh, could be lots of reasons. Uh, you know, uh, first of all, in America, everybody's assigned to their quota of water. Now, you know what a quota is, don't you? I know. What is it? Ooh, how ignorant. The quota is two pints. <laughs> now, look. Maybe you use up your quota. Tell me, uh, how many times a week can you take a bath? Pasquale, I'm bathing myself every day. Luigi, that's not the patriotic. <laughs> Don't you know is America the custom to take a bath only on a Saturday night? <laughs> well, Pasquale, I can't do that. You can't do that. You got to do that. Don't you know the saying when in Rome, do like the Romanians do? <laughs> It'd be a fine thing if I was to go around and telling everybody Luigi Bosco is to take a bath the seven or eight nights a week. He's un American. Mamma mia. In this country, you gotta learn it to save the water. Where you think it comes from? Heaven? I don't know, Pasquale. Then I tell you, it's made in the dam. Please, don't use it at that. <laughs> well, I'm got a right to, Luigi, because if you, my water was turned off for two. Me? Fellow who's a sacrifice himself for his country. You know, I ain't taking a bath in a month. <laughs> ah, not only I'm a run out of water, but the whole neighborhood is a run out of water, too. Well, Pasquale, I'm a didn't mean to do nothing wrong. Well, Luigi, you know, I'm your friend. I always fix you good. You forget your friends in the party, take a rosa to the movies, and while you're gone, I'm going to straighten everything out. By the time you come back, maybe it's going to be water. But, Pasquale, you said it before, is there no more water? All right, then I make the city run a piper line from some soda fountain. At least we have a seltzer. <laughs> what do you say? You were no position to bargain, you know. You've been violating the most important law in America, the IWW. IWW, what's that? Immigrant, the waste in the water. <laughs> Come on, I give up this snack idea, take a roast to the movies, or else I'm going to call into the neighborhood, they're going to tear you to pieces. Well? Pasquale, you've given me no choice. That's a good, my son. Call into the neighborhood. <laughs> Life with Luigi continues in just a moment. But first... Are you one of those folks who likes to relax with a good whodunit book? Well, this Saturday night, you can relax without the book and hear an exciting whodunit thrillingly presented over most of these same CBS stations. That's when Raymond Chandler's famous private eye, Philip Marlowe, goes on another search for dangerous criminals. Once you've heard this, you will listen every Saturday night to the adventures of Philip Marlowe. <laughs> And now, for the second act of Luigi Basco's adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, I'm a hate to write you this, but it looks like everything is a fall of truth for me. I'm a make a snack for my class. Now I'm a got a nothing to snack I'm a with. <laughs> Anyway, Pasquale has given me five minutes or more to change my mind, and I'm wondering if these are things which he told me is really true. When it is a come ashore. Luigi, my fellow boob. Ah, oh, hello, Pasquale. Hello, Mr. Delicatessen, man. Come on, Luigi. Rose is awake. 
What waiting? Luigi invited us all over for some good Italian food. Is there going to be no food tonight? <laughs> no food? Why not, Luigi? What's the matter? Well, well sure, so I don't know. It's, it's a long story. Uh, Pasquale says that the neighborhood is going to tear me to pieces because the IWW don't come from heaven. So he's uh, getting a pipe liner from Pepsi Cola Company and the Romanians are going to take a bath in a salsa. <laughs> Are you for shimmers? <laughs> Forget what Pasquazi says and tell me in plain English what happened. Sure, sir. I'm not going to cook the food because there's no water in my house, sir. Ach, what a stupid cop. Luigi, didn't you ever hear of a plumber? Sure, he's a heard of a plumber. What do you think? He's a deaf? Listen, Schultz, stay out of this. Keep your nose and your old face. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Schultz, you mean, you mean I can still make it to eat it? You think a plumber is going to bring it back to the water? Ach, certainly. What do you think a plumber does? Sells plums? <laughs> and look, stop listening to Pasquale. Send for the plumber right away. In ten minutes, with a wrench, he makes poof, puff. Another twist, puff, poof. <laughs> you got water. Oh, oh sure, that's so wonderful. I'm going to send for the plumber right away. Good, that's the way to talk. Well, as long as the food ain't ready, I'm going to go home and change. Well, goodbye, Luigi. And be like me. Smile, Luigi. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. Pasquale, why are you not telling me before I could call a plumber? Look, Luigi, I'm no argue. I'm your friend. I'm a say plumbers is a no helper. But if you want a plumber, I know plenty. I'm a glad to call one for you. Tell her, please, Pasquale, call a plumber and a fast. I'm going to get the food already. Sure, but first you go tell her, Rose, you can and take her to the movies. And meanwhile, I call a plumber for you. All right, Pasquale, thank you. I call a plumber. City fellas that say you turn the water off for three hours. Well, let a Luigi pay. Hello. Hey, one of plumbers? I wonder you should have sent your most suspensive man over here. It's a big emergency with the water. What? At night, are you charged double the time? Listen, I'm a very rich fella. I'm a willing to pay triple the time. Even a fourpool. <laughs> Address is at 21 and North the Halstead Street. Goodbye. Well, he's still going to have no water. Wait till he gets it out of bill. <laughs> Ooh, what a big rat I am. <laughs> I'm not a mean fella, but when somebody is across me with my daughter, it's to bring the jackal out of my hide. <laughs> Pasquale, for half hour that the man is just to do nothing but a bang on the pipes. What's he doing? How should I know? Maybe he's asking a janitor for steam. <laughs> it's not my fault that you took a Schultz's advice and sent him for him. Why don't you go talk to him, see how far you get? Well, all right. Mr. Plummer? Mr. Plummer? Ah, uh, Mr. Plummer? Please don't yell. I can't stand noise. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Plummer, you found out yet what's wrong? Yes, it's very simple. You see, there was a single inch and a half threaded outlet with a miter joint metal rim that looked like it might be grazing the brass tap and the cast valve. But when I went through the half-clogged drain line, I decided to use the electric roto-rooter and grind through the corrosion. Get it? Huh? <laughs> uh, what don't you understand? Everything. <laughs> Trouble is, you talk express, I'm a listener local. <laughs> Luigi, don't bother the plumber. Yeah, I'll be down in the cellar if you want. Good. Go ahead, mister. Hey, Luigi, look through the window. Here comes your guests. Oh, Mamma mia. Hello, Hello Luigi. Luigi. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, everybody. Friends, I'm a feel terrible. I'm a got a bad the nose. What's wrong, Mr. Basco? Well, uh, when I'm a come back from a school, uh, was no water in my store. I'm a no could boil a chicken. I was no able to make the dough for the pizza. Minister is a cook down to nothing. There was no coffee. Anybody want a lifesaver? <laughs> well, Mr. Basco, don't be upset. It was nice enough of you to plan this little get together. 
We can just sit around and chat. Besides, I'm not really hungry. I had supper before I came to class. I don't feel like eating. Oh, as far as I'm concerned, Luigi, food is not important. Himmel, I could eat a horse. <laughs> well, uh, who do you think will win the World Series? Mm. Oh, I, I think the Dodgers. Oh, they got a real fine pitching. Nah, I think the Yankees. That Joe DiMaggio could really hit a ball. Oh, wouldn't I love to be out of that series? Oh, yes, it would be thrilling. There's nothing like a ball game. You can say that again. I can just see myself sitting in the stands and munching on a nice, big, juicy hot dog. <laughs> just thinking about it makes my mind... Ma- Oh, Luigi, I said something. Uh, uh, did you read it in the paper about the big fire last night? Yes, imagine the whole 43rd Street Butcher's Warehouse. Hey, young Benjamin, it must have been thousands and thousands of pounds of barbecued spare ribs. Uh... <laughs> Friends, uh, I'm got a half a box of soda crackers in the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, if, if anybody's a want, I'm a big lad. Ah, you little pumpkin ahead. I've been a watching of you. I'm a no one to body anybody. You're miserable enough. Come on, everybody. Come next door to my spaghetti palace. I've got a refrigerator full of food. Thank you for scratching. Don't bother to thank me. You can eat all you want and consider Luigi as your host. Oh, Pasquale, you wonderful. How am I ever going to pay you back? Don't worry, I'm a figure out or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, everybody, let's see. Oh, that was a marvelous meal. I enjoyed it. Thank you. My heavens, it's after midnight. Wait, wait, what's the hurry? The night is young yet. Oh, no, no, it's time to go. Goodbye, Mr. Basco. Goodbye, Mr. Pasquale. Good night, Miss Spalding. Thanks for coming. Uh, Luigi, to tell the truth, that was the first time I ever ate pizza. Oh, that was delicious. Well, uh, well, you thank Pasquale. Next time you taste my own, I I think you like too. Luigi, it was a wonderful idea of yours, this getting together after class. Next week, my house. My wife, Esther, makes the most wonderful potato pancakes. They just melt in your mouth. Good. On the week after that, you come to my house. Oh, my wife makes Wiener schnitzel. They also melt in your mouth. But when they get to the heart, I don't give a guarantee. (laughs) Well, Luigi, you happy? Oh, Pasquale, it was wonderful... I don't know how I'm ever going to pay you back. I don't know either, because your check for the food they ate has come to $32. <laughs> Pasquale, are you charging me for this? Sure, I'm a charger. You heard. I'm a distinctly said Luigi is the host. Well, Mr. Basco, I got that water going for you. Boy, it was a tough job, but skill will tell. Twelve o'clock on the nose, that water started gushing. That's the plumber. I'm going to forget all about you. Yeah, well, here's a little reminder. Use of materials, time, and labor, $28. $28 for water? I'm going to get that much money. Yeah, what are you, a wise guy? You can't get... All right, all right. Mr. Plummer, Luigi's a good angel. Pasquale is a help him again. Here's your $28. Well, okay. That's better. So long. Hey, Pasquale, I'm going to understand First, you're so bad to me, then you're so good to me. Why you pay the plumber? Luigi, I'm got a confession. I call it the most expensive of plumber, so you should get stuck with a big bill. What? But I did it wrong. I realized it when I was eating the chicken, and the bone as it got stuck in my throat. Even the chicken was a hate to me. <laughs> well, Pasquale, how could you? Luigi, don't a chap size me, please. Believe me, from now on... I'm going to turn over a new leaf. And to show you how much I'm trying to make up, look, I'm going to tear up your check. Oh, Pasquale, you're good, man. What the more could I say? Don't say anything. I'm going to not do favors because I'm going to want the favors back. <laughs> of course, if you feel I'm going to do good for you and you feel you got to do something good for me, just to do anything your grateful heart does it feel like. Well? All right, Pasquale, call her out. (laughs) Rosa! 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 You called me, Papa! (laughs) Yes, 
Merci, my little patty cake. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> I feel very grateful today. He's going to do you the biggest favor a man can do for a woman. What do you say? Luigi, you going to help me wash dishes? Oh, shut up, you face! <laughs> well, Luigi. Well, hello, Mr. Pasquale. Is your water on again? Uh, go, go, go. Goodbye, mister. Goodbye. Nice to see you. No, goodbye, mister, goodbye. But wait till Mr. His water was in the off. It was a mine. I'm Mr. Pasco from the next door. Oh. Oh, well, you see, we fixed the sewer and shut your water off for three hours. What the... And nobody's telling me about this. Oh, but uh, Mr. Pasquale, you told me you were going to tell him. Well, uh, Pasquale. Luigi, what's it done? Is it done? It's no use. So goodbye. But Luigi, you heard me say I was going to turn over a new leaf. And the plumber was a witness. That's right, Pasquale. Well, what about a rosa? What do you say, my son? Introduce her to the plumber. Goodbye, Pop. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of trouble, but my idea for a little get-together is to come out too good after all. Pasquale is trying to fool me, but I'm going to find out the big thing. In America, you get all of the water you want. Cost you nothing. Unless you call a plumber. <laughs> then it's a different story. Otherwise, anywhere you go in America is a free water. In the parks, in the fountains, in the big buildings. And if you come into your son of Luigi's store, you're going to find a one, a bathtub, a two sinks, a coffee pot, and a tea kettle full of water. I'm not going to be caught again. <laughs> you have a son of Luigi Vasco, the little immigrant. Most of these stations when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Spalding, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olson. Music is under the direction of Lud Ruskin. Bob Stevenson speaks. A show that brings laughter to millions week after week. That's something to be proud of. A show that wins a coveted award in competition with all others of its kind. That's something to be proud of, too. And when a show comes along that does both, CBS proudly passes it along to you. You'll hear it starting tomorrow night exclusively on CBS. The Groucho Marx Show, You Bet Your Life. Groucho Marx, Bing Crosby, Burns and Allen. There's your unbeatable lineup every Wednesday night this fall on CBS, where you hear them all. Tune in, tune in this fall For the shows that you love best of all Listen carefully, here's the address It's CBS, CBS Stay tuned now for Hit the Jackpot which follows immediately over most of the same CBS stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.